All right, guys, so a couple things to announce. First of all, I want to say that the project that we are working on right here, I thought it would be a good idea to kind of uh, develop it a few steps ahead of these tutorials and then put it on GitHub so you guys can kind of see what we're working towards. So that's what I did. So if you guys want to check out github.com slash Bucky Roberts slash Viber, V-I-B-E-R-R, -R, then you can scroll down and kind of see what this is going to become. So it's basically going to be like a cloud music player slash uh, place to like upload and save your music. So of course, right now, <laughs> You guys can see right now, this is our homepage, a list of all of our albums, and eventually it's going to become something like this. And what I'm going to allow users to do is basically upload an album cover, something a little bit better than that, and then, you know, name their artist, album title, and then later on, once they have an album, they can add songs to it, and then they can play it, delete it, favorite them, and all of this right now is actually a uh, working code so this isn't just the design and the concept this is all working code so if you guys want to check it out then you know go ahead and check out the repo and I also built in a cool search function so what you can do is you can we're gonna have a search right in the top navigation bar and the user can type in a word and it can search through their albums and songs and display the relevant results so that's what we're going to be learning, but it's going to take a few videos to get there because right now, uh, yeah, we aren't even close. So of course there is a lot more to cover with forms and views and other stuff. But before we even get to that, I think our number one priority right now, to be honest, is just to work on the design because if we just learn about code, we're like, wow, Django websites suck. These are the ugliest things ever. So let's go ahead and figure out how to make our design look a little bit more like this. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how to include CSS into our templates. So how do we do that? Well, anytime you want to include images, and I'm not talking about like user uploaded images, I'm talking about just like logos or maybe an image for your background or anything like that, or your own CSS into these templates, those are called static files. So static files are kind of different than, you know, your Python files. All right, simple enough. So where do we create those? Well, in your apps directory, let me minimize this so you guys can see. Go ahead and right click music and hit new directory. Now inside here, just name it static. All right, simple enough. Now inside the static directory, what we want to do is we want to make another one called music. All right, so you know, just like templates, we had music and then all of our templates went in there. In static, we're gonna have music and then all of our static files go in there. So one thing I'm gonna do is I actually wanna separate my images out in here and let me just save that background image. All right, so this background image is just uh, the paper. So where was it? Desktop, YouTube music, static, music, images, background. All right, so I don't even know if you guys can see, but this is actually not just plain white, like the website, it's actually this cool paper texture. I thought that was a kind of a cooler looking background. So now we have that. And another thing we wanna start adding are CSS files. So where I'm gonna put those is new style sheet. I'm just gonna name it style.css looking good now in here you can basically write any css that you want you can make your headings big you can change your links to green but for right now all i'm going to do is i'm going to set the background of the website to use this image so how do i do that i just write body and background and i'll say white at first and then url images slash background dot ping. All right, so now we got our CSS file looking good. We got our background image in the correct location. So what we have to do now is we need to figure out how to include that CSS file in here. And the way that you do that is really easy. So let me just add a comment. All right, uh, loads the path uh, to your 
static files. All right, so in order to say, hey, Django, in this uh, template, we're gonna start using our static files. In other words, everything in this directory right here, all you need to do is write the special template syntax and then write load static files. So this pretty much loads the path. It doesn't load every individual file. So you actually need to do that manually. So just like you were including a style sheet in, you know, just regular HTML, what you can do is link rel equals style sheet and then type equals text slash CSS. And now you need to add a link to it. So the, the link to this, remember, we don't just want to put an absolute link. What we want to put is a dynamic relative link. So static. And what this does is it references your static right here, directory. So this keyword is basically a path to this, which is awesome. So from here, that's where you write what files you want to include. So inside your static directory, there's another directory called music. And inside there, there's a file called static.css. Now I just need to close this. And all right. So hopefully if I refresh the page, I don't even know if you guys could see, but the background changed from white to that nice background color. Now, a couple things I want to mention is if people are wondering, all right, how come when I write load static files, then it just doesn't load in every CSS file? Well, if you did that and you had a separate file for the album view, the song view, the profile, the home page, then it's going to load a bunch of unnecessary files. So that's why right here, you're just loading the path or saying, hey, we're going to work with some static files. But to keep your website fast and optimized, you only want to load in the ones you need for this single template. Simple enough. So now that we saw the basics of how to work with our own CSS, which was pretty cool, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, all right, what happens if I want to include a framework like Foundation or Bootstrap? Well, what you can do is this. Let me go ahead and copy the link. I have it right next to me. So of course, you know, anytime you want to add Bootstrap, you just add this right there. So this is actually a bootstrap coming from a CDN and a CDN is a content delivery network. And all that means is instead of having to copy all of the bootstrap files, save them on your computer and then use them in your project, they're actually stored on someone else's computer somewhere in the world. So you can just reference them and then you can pretty much include them without having to download them. Pretty cool. So go ahead to the bootstrap website. I'm sure if you guys are including Bootstrap, you know how to use Bootstrap, so I won't even talk to you guys about that. But basically, once you have this link, then you can just start using Bootstrap. So what I'm actually going to do is the first thing I want to build is a navigation bar at the top of all of these pages. So with Bootstrap, that's actually really easy. So again, here are my includes, and this is my body right now. So above my body, I just want to build nav. And I'll just build class navbar. Now I'll just write navbar default. And later on, I'm going to change the styling to make it kind of darker. But for right now, I want to keep things real simple. So inside here, I just want to make a fluid container, which means it's pretty much going to take up the entire width. And it's not just going to be a little section in the middle. So I'll just write div with a class container fluid and now in here I can start making the individual items that are going to go on my navigation bar so I don't know if you guys can see in maybe one of these pictures but the first thing I'm going to have is just a little logo and that's just going to say Viber and then I have all of my navigation items albums songs this is actually an item this form add album and log out so that's what we're going to be doing so the first thing is just the logo. So the logo in Bootstrap is just called the navbar header. So div class. Oh, don't make me type it all out, mate. All right, navbar header. Could have easily typed that out a lot faster than I just had to look for it, but whatever. All right. So 
I want to have it so whenever you click this, it actually takes you back to the home page because that's like what every website in the world does. Whenever you click their logo, that's where it takes you. So I'm gonna make, gonna make this a link and I'm gonna set the class equal to navbar brand. And I also wanna make the href. Remember, this is gonna link back wonder if I can copy it anywhere nope so this is gonna link back to the home page and we already have a shortcut for that so the shortcut is it's a URL music index noise all right so now I just need to put whatever I want the brand to be and check it out all right so we have a basic navigation bar and even though we don't have you know a whole lot of buttons on it whenever we click this it takes us back to the home page so right now we're already on the home page but it's cool later on when we include this in other files and other pages that it takes us back here 